uh, an informed Benfica team this season as a whole. They've only lost one of 37 games in all competition. And Benfica, of course, who sell so many players. Enzo Fernandez is only the latest one. Darwin Nunes before that, but they seem to keep on regenerating talent-wise. Yeah, and you look at the, the starting eleven tonight, and there's Antonio Silva, there's Barr at right back, Ramos up front, three players who who will be on the the radars of big Premier League clubs, and they, they keep performing. And their their um, sporting director was very keen to keep Fernandez because he, he thought he had a real good chance of winning the Champions League and he wanted to keep him to be one of the main players but obviously in the end the money the money talks for them but they, they'll still fancy themselves to get through this round and the way the way they're playing the confidence that they have from their league performances and the goals that they do score they'll, they'll have a real good chance. What do you think Brian um, like this is a kind of a it feels like a fairly open Champions League because some of the really big teams have issues. Benfica topped a group with PSG and Juventus in it like if they continued that sort of form into the knockout stages, are they contenders? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I agree with you, Tommy, that a lot of the usual contenders are not in great form. I mean, Manchester City would be obvious contenders, and they haven't been in great form. Maybe that'll suit them as the season goes on. They get better. Real Madrid always get better after Christmas. They're well off Barcelona in the title. Bayern Munich or PSG are going to go out. Neither of them were massively impressive yesterday. And the unusual unusually for Bayern Munich. They're only a point ahead of Union Berlin at the moment mm. and three ahead of Dortmund. So they have a bit to do in their own league. Same as PSG because their form isn't consistent. So the big hitters, Juventus are out, Barcelona are out, not in the competition. Manchester United, no, no sign. So a lot of the, the usual suspects are not in great form. So the likes of Napoli, Benfica and Dortmund, teams like that, me, w would be feeling themselves that we're in good form and we might have a bit of a, a go. Year for a dark I agree with, with, with Richard that they would have, uh, you know, Benfica, remember how closely they ran Liverpool last year? Yeah. Two really good games, 3-2, 3-1, 3-2 three, 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 and 3-3, three, three, I think, yeah. last year. They played very well. That was when they had Nunes. They sold Nunes, but there's free-flowing. The front part, the front four are excellent in their team. They're, they're a very good watch. And Otamendi... What about his performance at the World Cup? We, people mm. would have been writing him off after Manchester City. He was too old, unreliable. And he's doing great. The young lad Antonio playing with him. They, they're a good side. 